that is pretty. Oh my God, that looks so good. Ooh, I'm so happy. This is so pretty. Hey y'all, it's Brittany Bianca. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that everybody is doing well and staying safe. So today I'm gonna be doing a product review and I'm really excited. It's gonna be a makeup review. So I'm gonna be reviewing some eyeshadow from The Lip Bar. This is a black owned company, black owned beauty company, which I think is really dope. I wanted to try out their brown bombshell eyeshadow palette. I saw it online. This was only $10, so I decided to just go ahead and snatch it up and see what they're talking about. So I'm just gonna swatch this palette for y'all the way I usually do whenever I try out a new eyeshadow palette and just tell y'all what I think about the colors and everything. On the back of the box, they have um, directions on how to apply each shade on your eye. Like I don't know if you, like this part right here is instructions on how to apply it. For us girls who don't quite know how to do our makeup, y'all are looking out for us and I appreciate that. It's not that big, but you don't really need like a ton of eyeshadow. But this is so cute! Oh, it's so cute and little! So this is what it looks like and we have four colors. We have brown sugar, toast, spice, and cinnamon. So this palette has like a very like warm feel. Y'all know from my Beauty Bakery eyeshadow palette review that I love warm eyeshadow colors, so I gravitated toward this palette. But they have three other eyeshadow palettes very like similar to this where it's like the four in one type of thing for like $10. We're gonna start with this color right here. This is brown, brown sugar. It looks like it's gonna be really pigmented, so that's exciting. This is pigmented, I like this. Oh yeah, oh! Wow, this is really pigmented. Oh, this is exciting. It's coming out like a lot darker than it looks in the pot. That's very interesting. Like it looks like almost like a light brown when you see it in the pot, but on my arm, like it's pretty dark. That's crazy. That is brown sugar. So this would be a really good replacement for um, my dark brown that I usually use. Um, Manhattan Coffee Run by ColourPop. And I've had that for a couple of years, so I'll probably use this as like my go-to like dark brown color. But this is really nice. Very nice shade. Okay, now we're going to go in with this shimmery gold type of color. This is Toast. It seems like this one isn't as pigmented as brown sugar. Like, you kind of got to work to get it onto the brush. But once you get it up there, it looks like it's going to be a really pretty color. <sighs> that is gorgeous! Can you guys see that? I love this color. This color looks like it could go really well with other colors from the Proof is in the Pudding Beauty Bakery palette, which is cool because I wear a lot of colors from those like whenever I actually wear makeup. So it's nice to have like another eyeshadow palette that blends seamlessly with other palettes that I use, if that makes sense. But this color is so pretty. It's like a, um, like a, bronzy gold type of color like a shimmery brown okay so now we're gonna go in with spice which is this red color y'all can't tell from here but this has like um some glitter in it so it'll be interesting to see how that translates on the skin but this is the color that i'm most excited for because i don't really have anything that's this red color so oh my god oh oh my god this is great this is great I'm normally nervous about like makeup that has pieces of glitter in it, but this is done tastefully. Like I always think that it's gonna look like cheesy or tacky and remind me of like, like makeup I had when I was like a kid, but this is tastefully done and you can barely tell it's there, but you can see it enough that it gives it a little bit of shimmer. This is such a nice palette. Okay, and last we have cinnamon, which is a dark brown very deep very deep oh i love this the pigment yo like it's such a deep brown like i love this i think this would be really good for like a, if i was doing like a sultry look you know like a smoky look that needed like a really dark brown like that's a nice color oh my god this is such a good palette and there's nothing i love more than coming across like good makeup products that are inexpensive but still like do the job like this stuff is so pigmented and it was only $10. So now 
I kind of want to like experiment and try out what they were talking about on the back of the box because it kind of tells you like how to apply each color. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my face off camera real quick and then I'll come back and then we will try this look together. I'm really excited. All right, we're all up close and personal. All I did was put on some foundation, just a little bit on my face and neck. I'm gonna put on this Revlon Colorstay Concealer and I'm just gonna use that as primer. Actually, I need my mirror. I'm just gonna use that as primer on my eyelids. Just a little swoop. So according to the box, it says starting with the lightest shade, sweep over the entire eye from the corner of your lid toward your tear duct. So outward motion, we will do that. So they said starting with the lightest shade. So I guess that would be brown sugar. So I'm gonna do this one. I was about to do the metallic shade, but they have a separate step for that. So we're gonna save that for later. Okay, so just like a base color basically. Next step, apply the metallic shade along the lid of your eye. Okay, so I guess they're talking about toast here. I'm just gonna go start right here. Oh my God, the shade is so pretty. I can't believe how pretty this eyeshadow is for $10. You gotta be kidding me. Step number three, use the contrast shade warm transition above the crease. So I'm guessing the contrast shade is this red, the cinnamon, no, not cinnamon, the spice. Boy, that is pretty. Oh my God, that looks so good. Ooh, I'm so happy. Bruh, it looks so good. Okay, I think that's enough, okay. Okay, and then step four, apply the darkest shade into the crease of your eye, so like your outer crease. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the darkest shade, which is cinnamon. And we're gonna put this on our outer crease. Am I doing it right? What I don't wanna do is overpower everything with the brown and then lose all that pretty color. Do y'all see what's happening here? Cause it's good things that are happening. I don't know why it seems like the color is showing up more on this eye than this eye, but we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna put a little bit more red in the crease here i was a little a little bit sparing with it this is such a nice palette i didn't have like not that i had low expectations but i wasn't expecting this this is so pretty blend that in girl yes i think that's good we're gonna add a little bit more brown over here because we kind of lost it okay i think that's good i'm gonna blot my face a little bit because oily skin problems so this is the finished look right here. Y'all look at my face, like look at, where's my eyeshadow palette? Yo, this palette is bomb. The colors are so pigmented and it was only $10. Like I said before, I'm very used to experiencing that level of pigmentation in eyeshadow palettes that are like $15 or more. I have never purchased an eyeshadow palette for like less than $15 and have it be this quality. This is some good stuff. Like what I experienced from this makes me wanna like go back and try all the other ones that they had, like cause they had four of these in like different shades. So because like these are very similar to shades that I already have and use, I definitely do wanna like branch out and see like what else they have to offer. But yo, like I love this eyeshadow palette. I'm so happy right now. That's pretty much all I can say about it. It's a good eyeshadow palette for a good price. <gasps> If you open it like this, there's a little brush and a mirror. I didn't peep that at all. Wow, this is great. One thing that I always ask in my makeup reviews or my product reviews is if I recommend the product that I'm reviewing. 
yes I absolutely recommend maybe I'll try out like one of their lip products next time along with another one of these little eyeshadows but I'm really excited about this brand let me know in the comments if you have tried anything by the lip bar if you tried this eyeshadow palette right here this is the brown bombshell or if you've tried like any of the other like little eyeshadow palettes they have like this I would love to hear y'all's thoughts about them make sure y'all like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all in my next video bye Thank you.